Hello there guys, my name is Coach Shadonks to Born but built for Theme Park Factual Entertainment and welcome to this Theme Park Newsroom update where today we're going to be taking a look at the recent construction around the Owls Auto Academy attraction in the Tornado Springs area of Paltons Park. Now, these images were sent in on Twitter by Lawrence Manti who works for Paltons, so massive shout out to Lawrence who you know, enjoys these videos, watch the videos along with the Paltons Park team. Uh, big shout out to all of you there. You do some fantastic work. And uh, today, we're going to be looking at the recent construction around the Owls Auto Academy. We've seen, we've seen the, the, the finishing touches that are going to be taking place uh, throughout the attraction. And we're going to be sharing my thoughts on this particular attraction. So, before we get started, guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Click the notification bell to see the next YouTube video. We're on the road to 2,000 subscribers, so make sure we get them there. And let's get into talking about this video and let's talk about the pictures that were released from Al's Auto Academy. So as you can see on your screen right now, the different coloured cars for Al's Auto Academy are in the shed. Uh, hashtag what's in the shed, Kings Island fans. <laughs> now of course, looking into this uh, sort of area, you've got the yellow, the red and the light blue, uh, which resembles the colours of the um, the main the main colours of the area, should we say, yellow of course, with the sandy yellow of Storm Chasers track, uh, the red around the area as well, the light blue uh, involved in the design and the marketing of the area. So, you know, all three of these colours are primary colours and also represent the colours of the area or main colours surrounding the area. Uh, so that's a very nice touch. The second image already on your screen is a overshot, a flyover shot. Uh, of the attraction now if you don't know what it is specifically that's replacing this basically this whole area is bit replacing like a couple of our old animal enclosures that have been relocated and also there was like a gold river falls which is like a combination of mini golf and panning for gold the actual panning for gold attraction was where the driving school is now so where this driving school has been constructed around about a year or two ago that was like a panning for gold attraction with a mini golf course next to it. So, you know, it's hard to you, you could like they've done so much they've done such a good job with this, you could hardly figure out whether that was a panning for gold attraction or not. Next image on your screen right there is some of the theming details being taken place throughout the driving school attraction. Uh, you can see a bit of Storm Chaser support sticking out over the top of the top right. <laughs> um, but I love the, the design of the, the theming elements that have gone into it. And, you know, I think this gives me Pe Peppa Pig World vibes. You know, the area that opened in 2011. Uh, and you could see wobbly posts which hold all the buildings up. Um, and it's clear to see how they've moulded the posts to look very wobbly. And, you know, I thought the level of detail in that area when that first opened in 2011 was fantastic. And the wobbly post was one of the, the main things that sort of stuck out to me about the area. It wasn't just the rise and attractions and the experiences and the meet and greets uh, and the indoor stuff. It was the actual finer details, like the posts holding the buildings up. And... You know, I think they've sort of gone for an inspiration of that, and they sort of... I'm not sure if they've worked with the same people that did the Wobbly Post for Peppa Pig World, uh, you know, back in 2011. Uh, but if it is, then, you know, right people to do it. Um, but it gives me inspiration from that with this traffic light thing, how it's like a little wobbly. Go, uh, it's more wobbly as you go towards the top of the traffic light. Um, and you've got these little these traffic lights, you've got the level of detail on them and you know opposite that you've got like, what is it, like a power generator or something? Um, doesn't it look like a massive lipstick or something? <laughs> doesn't it look like there's a lipstick attached to a post? Um, but it's some kind of power generator I think, so uh, again very nice detail from them. Final image on your screen then is of course the, a bit of a more overlook at some of the finer details. So. You can see some barrels, you can see some more wobbly posts, uh, you can see a bit of a theming item there with a pumpkin and a scarecrow, uh, and you can see some nice storm chaser in the background, some good map rides goodness in the background, and um, yeah, very, very interesting. You can see that uh, power generator post that looks like a lipstick um, from far apart, and <laughs> you look at it in detail. Um, so overall, from those images, I am very, very, very excited. So there we go then, so that is looking at the latest construction and finishing touches details to Al's Auto Academy, the driving school attraction in Tornado Springs at Poulton's Park. Uh, and like I said, they look brilliant, the theming detail in this is absolutely incredible. And, you know, like I said, the wobbly posts are the big details, and it's the same with Peppa Pig World. 
the rise in attractions and the indoor um, you know experiences and activities are good they're great they're fantastic but it's the finer details that make an area feel like a themed area and the wobbly posts and the, the different the small details on each theming item just brilliant absolutely brilliant and that's what Polton's Park do really really well and that is why they are back to back to back to back best UK theme park that's why they're the best in the country three four years running because they focus on every single little detail and every detail is given maximum thought and you know Polton's Park are really competing with the likes of Alton Towers, Thorpe Park. You know, they're more the theme park. Um, they're, they're less themed parks than Polton's Park, should I say. But, you know, Alton Towers and Thorpe Park are amusement theme parks. This is a proper... Polton's Park is a proper themed park for all ages. And the level of detail in these rides and attractions and in the theming items, in the little details on the ground, in the sky, it's brilliant it's absolutely brilliant and you know this is just another post just to just to praise Polton's part for the work they've done on this area cannot wait for the opening next year uh, down in it's probably going to be in May 2021 and not really April you know it was originally going to be May anyway um, I've no doubt that Polton's will do a public opening I've no doubt they'll do some kind of socially distant media day um, hopefully I want to try and get down for the media day, but if not the public opening for this next year, because it looks like a fantastic area. And, um, you know, Polton's, uh, we've followed this project for nearly two years now, so, you know, this project's been incredible to follow. And, you know, I think it's going to, when it all comes together, it's going to look fantastic in full detail. So, you know, the, finish, the finishing touches they're making to this specific attraction are brilliant. And I can't wait to we receive more updates about some of the other attractions in the area and the, the finer details they're receiving. Uh, so, thank you very much, guys, for watching this video from Tornado Springs at Polton's Park. Um, yeah, I never thought I'd be doing more updates on this. Because, of course, we've come to the end of the progress of this area. So, it means the end of the series, nearly. Uh, apart from the opening of the area, obviously, when we get the, the interviews and the, the POVs and the final thoughts etc um but this is definitely a good looking area and you know this is definitely going to be a really good area to experience and to be a part of and to feel to touch to taste to smell with covid restrictions in place obviously and um yeah this is definitely going to be a good area so thank you very much guys for watching this video make sure you stay tuned across the rest of the week for more theme park newsroom updates and more videos in general and for now guys make sure you like comment subscribe click the notification bell so you never miss any more thrilling youtube content and for now guys keep living the coast of life and i'll see you guys in the next video very very soon take care guys have an awesome week